Hi, BookTube, it's Gina, and I wanted to share some books with you that I got this weekend. I did a little book shopping. I went to a thrift store and bought a few books, and I went to a used bookstore that is about an hour away from me, so I don't get there very often, but it's a really fun store. They have a, a really nice section where they've got some literary or mm, collectible hardbacks. And I found a bunch of books that are going to go on my shelf here that I call the ladies. So as a preface, most of these books are, they're all, they're all female authors um, from the 40s to the 80s. And they are mostly cozy. And there's one in here that I call an intellectual lady, but the others are all my, my cozies. So let's get started. Um, the first is this beautiful vintage hardback. And actually, I'll try not to say beautiful vintage hardback for all of these, because this is that's really what they all are. Um, this is Lady in Waiting by Rosemary Sutcliffe. And Lady in Waiting, this is fun because it's got a blurb on the back from Elizabeth Googe. And it says, I think it is a most attractive book, sensitively and delicately written. The story of Walter Raleigh and his wife, Bess, is very moving, for the author has so identified herself with her characters, with their joy and suffering, and the times in which they lived, that they become very real to us. And I love Elizabeth Googe too. So this is, is going to be a fun one to read. I think it might be sort of geared towards a young audience. I'm not sure um, about that one. Then secondly, I found this, look at this score, Georgette Heyer, Charity Girl. Um, this is... Um, the, the front cover says, my aunt said in future, I should be called Charity, said Cherry Steen pathetically, to keep me in mind of the fact that that is what I am, a charity girl. <laughs> and look at, look at that. That's a Georgette Heyer. And then these two are both by Marjorie Sharp. I found... Clooney Brown, which is one of hers that I have already read and loved. This was from, I think, 1944. So right in, right in my bracket. Yep, 1944. I love that, love that time period for the women sort of pastoral novels. Um, and The Foolish Gentlewoman by Marjorie Sharp. Also beautiful cover on that one. I haven't read this one yet, so we'll we'll see what uh, what that one is about. And then the this is a, the, these are a, a real score to me. These are actually the first vintage hardback D. E. Stevensons that I have found. I have got a few of her reissued paperbacks, and I've got a lot of them on my Kindle, which is generally how I read them. But these are two uh, vintage hardbacks. So this one is Celia's House, which I have read and loved. It's sort of a, um, it's not a series, but it's it's a set of books that are sort of loosely tied together, um, set in the same area with this a similar cast of characters. And this was wonderful. This is a family bookshelf edition, and that is just gorgeous. And then the second D.E. Stevenson is Shoulder in the Sky. And I've not read this one yet, so I'm super excited to find a D.E. Stevenson hardback that I have not read. And look at, look at the end papers on this. Is that just not beautiful? I'm so, so excited to, to find this one. And this one's a People's Book Club edition. So, you know, none of these are, are valuable in a monetary sense at all, but they are going to be beautiful additions to my shelf here, which is in sore need of a reorganization at this point. Um, 
Next, I found a Barbara Pym Crampton Hodnet, which I have read and loved. And look, look at this cover, isn't that? Isn't that pretty? And let's see, this one was published um, by E.P. E. Dutton in 1985. So this is one of her more recent, um, or actually maybe this was a reissue because I think she, I don't think she was writing that late. I think she was earlier. So this this might be a um, a a reprint. I'm not sure of that one. Um, and then um, I got a May Sarton Faithful Are the Wounds. May is what I would categorize as the intellectual lady in the stack. She was writing um, 50s, 60s, and 70s and wrote poetry, wrote fiction, wrote a lot of journals, which is how I originally found her. Um, I wanted to show you this one, um, The House by the Sea, which was uh, fantastic. Her first book that I read was Plant Dreaming Deep, was, was her uh, journal, um, her first journal. And then this was The House by the Sea, which she wrote when she was obviously living in a house by the sea, to state um, the obvious. Um, oh, and this just fell out, the, the fur person. <laughs> You know, I love my cat, so clearly uh, May and I have that in common. And then I found a big, big stack of my beloved Miss Reads, which that I don't have. So this was very exciting. Um, these uh, three are from her Fair Acre series, which I own a, a few of. Um, the first is Farewell to Fair Acre. And Miss Reed is the village teacher in the Fair Acre series. And so it's, it's all about her, her life, um, the, the village, um, and she is, is the teacher. A fictionalized versions of, of really her real life. And then this one is called Over the Gate. And this is... A Peaceful Retirement. And I have not read this one yet, so I'm excited um, to get to this one. This sounds like the last the last book in this series. Um, it says, Miss Reed um, ends her long-running series of novels set in Fairacre, the timeless English village beloved by thousands of readers. Uh, so this is the, the final book in the series. So I'm super excited to get to that. And then these two are um, it's a fortunate grandchild and time remembered and these are memoirs of her early days so her telling her story of um when she was a, a child these two and i think they probably continue on but these are the two uh, from her early days so this was really this is a really fun score i think i i think i did a little squeal in the bookstore when i saw those and was, was so excited and then of course um i've got some beautiful hardback rosamond pilchers this was another score so i've got I don't have the Shell Seekers in a hardback. I, so I was very excited to find this beautiful copy of the Shell Seekers, which is the, the first big chunky romance that she published and was followed then by uh, September. And I absolutely love this book. These are such wonderful family sagas to just settle into. This one is sort of set in um, the war period. It, it goes back from the current day, which is I think in the 80s, um, back to the main character's time in, in as a young woman um, during that war, World War II period. So it's really, really sweet romance story. Um, and then three, I found three of her early short, really these can only be called romances. Um, they are really easy reads, really fun. I mean, some of these are, are really 
really not very good, to be honest. Which one was the one that I didn't like very much? Um, I mean, some of her characters are in these, the, the female characters are very annoying <laughs> um, because they sit back and just let people tell them what to do and get forced to marry a person they don't want to marry and do it out of duty to their family, which just makes me berserk, but different time. Um, this is Voices in Summer. This is The Day of the Storm. And this is Under Gemini. But look at these. I mean, that is just so exciting to have. I've got three of these uh, hardbacks already. And so very excited to add three more of these hardbacks. And then lastly, so that was uh, that was my score from the um, used bookstore. And then I also did a run through the thrift store and found some super inexpensive copies. Um, lest you don't think that I only read these cozy books. Well, actually, that's not entirely true because I do read a lot of cozy books. Um, but I did buy a few, which this is not one of them. <laughs> this is Aunt Poldy. Sicilian, see Aunt Poldy and the Sicilian Lions, a novel by Mario Giordano. And it sounds like this is a series, um, a mystery series um, of Aunt Poldy who goes to live in Sicily to retire. So this, I'm super excited. I think this is gonna be a great summer read. Look at that cover, doesn't that sound fun? And hopefully, I can't remember where I heard of this. I'm sure I, I heard about it somewhere, but because um, the name sounded familiar to me but it is a series, so hopefully I love this one and have a new series to get into. And then I did buy three um, prize-winning books that I found. Um, the first is The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. And I saw this on Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading's channel. She has raved about how beautiful and how much she loved this book. So I, when I saw this for inexpensive, I, I bought it. And this is definitely going on the TBR. And then I also bought Interpreter of Maladies um, from, by uh, Jhumpa Lahari. And this was a, 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 also a Pulitzer Prize winner. So I wanted to read this. And then I found a beautiful hardback copy of The Luminaries, which has also been one that I've been keeping my eyes open for um, because it sounds, sounds like a nice long um, kind of settle into saga type of, of read. So I'm, I'm really excited to add this to my TBR shelf that is over on the other side. So that is my fun score from the weekend. I was so excited. Now, this is definitely going to require a reorganization of this shelf because I've got lots of new things to add to this. So that will be my next project is figuring out now where to put all of these beautiful new books. So thanks so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye, BookTube.